And there's no doubt, John, at all, that this is the major talking point of the day. And in fact, something that people have been discussing in their households and with their friends right across the weekend. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing everyone listening to, to you say that will be inwardly nodding. I mean, this is such a an obvious talking point up and down up and down the country. We're talking about the about the BBC with all of its many millions of listeners and and viewers still among the most trusted institutions in this country. And we have this story, courtesy of The Sun, of a leading presenter who is allegedly uh, accused of of procuring pictures, uh, explicit pictures from a teenager. Now, right there, you have the, you know, the makings of a story which is going to grip the, the, the country's imagination, and all the more so because we, we don't know who the presenter is. So there's a kind of a, I don't know, kind of a... A, a, a grisly guessing game yeah. going on, which adds to the anticipation and adds really to the pressure on the BBC. And before social media, um, we wouldn't have had to worry about this diabolical situation of people completely unconnected to the allegations being hurled into the mix by people on Twitter, for example. It was just ridiculous. Yeah, but again, it, it's it's the, the new world of social media um, and, and Twitter reacting the way Twitter Twitter does. I mean, it's worth, it's worth stressing because you can't stress it too much at this early stage in this whole affair. We don't know what went on here. We have we have a report in the Sun of allegations by, it seems, the parents of a, a teenager. Um, we know also the BBC suspended a presenter. We know the police have been in and they're conducting, they say, inquiries, which is a more neutral form of words than a mm. than an investigation. They're looking to see whether there are grounds for an investigation. So it's it's holding pattern. But not but notwithstanding that, Twitter was alive with chatter with fingers being pointed, with denials coming from prominent people uh, in, in BBC broadcasting. And what does it tell you? It tells you what we know about social media. Anyone and everyone is a, a published writer. And I mean, not everyone has been to uh, classes in, in basic law for journalists. And you can see that all over. So seemingly unaware of the real risks of libel, of defamation, uh, people were, were pointing fingers this way and that and drawing these denials. Yeah, uh, I know that you're absolutely right to emphasise that we don't know the full detail of what is alleged to have gone on here. But what we do know, those of us who care about the BBC, and I, you know, I'm really very fond of it, and I know you are too, what we do know is it's going to make life a heck of a lot harder for a lot of very hard-working, decent people who are employed by the organisation. I think that's so. I mean, of course that must be... Must be so. And, and this is, of course, against the background. Whatever went or didn't go on in the case of, of this, this presenter, it's against the background of past very, very well-known cases. I mean, Jimmy Savile, um, Rolf Harris and others, where the BBC came under all, an awful lot of hostile fire. And the, and the worry in the BBC now will be any perception or any perception or you know, perceived reality of the BBC not just you know, observing its duty of care to a senior member of the, of the staff, but also care of its own standing and reputation. Is there any question here, this is maybe the most lively question in the air right now, is there any question here of the BBC either being slow to react to the complaint that was made uh, uh, reportedly by the parents of the teenager... Seven or weeks being ago. hesitant yeah. to react? Yeah, um, and this current situation where everybody's talking, names are being bandied around, it cannot go on, can it? It's just ridiculous and unfair. No, well, no I, I think that's right. I, I think that the common assumption... And for, it, for what it's worth, which is whatever it's worth, is, to mine is we will know before too very long who the, the the presenter at the heart of this affair is, and then the story will take on from there. But the, the story doesn't wait for that. I mean, the row is is running as we've heard on social media with lots of clearly false allegations being thrown about, and and the the very nature and the future of the BBC is being hauled into this by some people who who are really keen to do that. And Lee Anderson, who is after all. The, the deputy chairman of the Conservative Party mm. has been talking about the BBC. Uh, he, he, in an interview for The Express, I think this was today, he described the BBC as a haven for perverts and said it raised, it called into account the funding of the BBC. So you can see how the waves of a thing like this, even before we really know what's at the heart of all of this, you know, beyond the, beyond the allegations, we'll see what how it develops, the waves are radiating in all directions. 